At first, it sounds like a distant thunderstorm. And then, you start feeling it through the ground. This is the Great Migration, the largest terrestrial movement of animals on planet Earth. The seasons are changing, and the animals are beginning to feel restless. The herds have given birth to calves in Tanzania's Serengeti National Park, but resources have quickly become depleted. More than two million wildebeest are leaving to begin an immense and dangerous voyage to Kenya in search of rain-ripened grass. The clouds rumble again, and the herds heed heaven's call to follow. Hundreds of long, grueling days lie ahead, and for some, death. A quarter of a million animals never make it to the end. Those that survive starvation and exhaustion are being stalked by an abundance of predators that have waited a year for this moment. Blood-spattered faces during the migration, the efforts of these four cheetah are rewarded far more often than usual. Sometimes the threat is in plain sight, and sometimes it's hidden in the grass, watching you. When these lionesses kill again tonight, the last thing their prey will ever see is this. <laughs> Wildebeest scour the ridges in search of a safe crossing point. Some descend deep trenches, carved in the soil by millions of desperate predecessors. Sanctuary lies just beyond the river, but first, they must face their greatest trial of all. The herd is too eager. A warning call is belched out by hippos, agitated by their recklessness. In their panic, some cross and some retreat. The herd is divided. This is, after all, the notorious Mara River. So much life and death is decided in these murky currents. The wildebeest are confronted once again by their treacherous destiny with water. A young male suddenly realizes he is abandoned, split from his mother when she crossed. Desperate to reunite, he descends alone. But the path he chooses obscures his view of an opportunistic Nile crocodile sneaking silently upriver. Until it's too late. survives this crossing, but leaves at least one unsatisfied killer where the rest must cross. It is a difficult choice, but another night on the plains is too risky. The herd presses forward. This time, however, it is different, quieter, measured, more vigilant.
The first crash of water echoes up the banks and compels the massive herd on the plateau above to join. These vocalizations are a battle cry. a defining moment in their long and arduous journey. It's also one of nature's finest examples of sworn intelligence. Their unanimous assault on this final obstacle creates a far greater chance of survival. But they must cross quickly to avoid attracting more crocodiles. On one side of the bank, the animals hurl themselves into the water with increasing frenzy. A hard current sweeps them downriver. And on the opposite side, a sheer and slippery embankment demands every last bit of their energy. More and more paths are formed across the river. Over 3,000 animals make this crossing in less than five minutes. <laughs> Beaten down, fatigued, but alive, a 2,900 kilometer struggle ends here. Small green shoots may seem like a small prize, but they represent the promise of survival. Soon, the rains will move off, summoning these animals to follow, and the exodus will begin once more.